Our main healing practice that we're doing this week is called a sand painting. This is one of my favorite medicines as it brings out your soul's creative expression and also gives you the opportunity to be in nature. The sand painting is a powerful tool for change, and it's a way for your soul to illustrate the journey it's on. It's a map of your inner quest, and you build this map through intuition. This map will absorb the energy you are wanting to shift and transform it into enlightened power. First, gather three medicine stones. These can be ordinary rocks. They do not have to be special crystals or anything that you purchase. Next, find a space to build your sand painting. Make sure it's in a place that can be undisturbed and easy for you to visit for a few days. If you have the opportunity to do it in nature, that's recommended. But if you live in a city that makes it impossible, that's okay too. You can build it in a room in your house that feels open and inviting to this work. And then think of a healing theme you'd like for your sand painting. Maybe there's an area of your life that you're needing to reorganize or do some healing in. This is great to then dedicate this theme to your sand painting. Once you have that theme in mind, go outside and intuitively gather objects from nature. Pick up twigs, pine cones, leaves, whatever you feel intuitively called to. You want to get enough twigs or small stones to form a circle to hold your painting in. If you do pick a flower, anything that's living, ask the plant or tree for permission before you just pluck it off. Gently hold the flower you'd like to pick and send energy into it, asking it if it wants to be a part of your healing process. Then gently tug on the flower. If it wants to come, it will easily come with you. If it tugs back, just leave it be and find something else. Then head back to your quiet space where you're going to build your sand painting. Sit down and open your Wiracocha, your soul star, just like we do in our morning meditation, and open it with the intention that it will stay open and protect this healing space for you as you work through it. Then begin to design your sand painting with your nature objects. Let your soul place the items where they feel right. You can also use poster board and markers to draw your sand painting. I once did this in the winter. Design your sand painting with whatever creativity is visiting you. Once you've completed the sand painting, take a moment to feel into it. Make any adjustments to the items that you feel need it. This is subconsciously adjusting and reorganizing that area of your life that you're working through. Place your hands over the sand painting and send intentions of love, enlightenment, and abundance into its space. Then take your three stones. These will become medicine stones that you can work with after the sand painting has closed. These stones will bake in the sand painting, taking your pain, absorbing healing elements, and transforming it into medicine. Stones carry the most ancient of wisdom, and you can work with them to cultivate that wisdom. Think of three limiting beliefs or pains you are ready to release. Then dedicate one stone to each limiting belief. Pick up the stone and blow that belief or pain into it three times, really summoning that feeling up within you and then cupping your hand around the stone and blowing that belief or that pain into the stone. Then place the stone in your sand painting in the area that feels right. Each day as your sand painting is live, visit it and meditate with it, look at your stones and move them within your sand painting into a new space where it feels called to. If you don't feel called to move it, then don't. This is helping to integrate the energy within your subconscious. So continue to visit the sand painting each day until you visit it and one day it just will feel complete. You'll just feel a sense that the energy has been shifted and it's time to close the painting. To close the painting, get yourself in a heart-centered space by taking some long, deep breaths. Then take each medicine stone out of the sand painting. As you remove each stone, hold it in your hands and close your eyes. Ask the stone for the new message of empowerment that it has for you to replace the limiting belief. The message will just visit your heart and your intuition. Trust whatever is coming up for you. Do this with each stone. Then dismantle your sand painting by moving the objects around and rescattering them back to Pachamama or burn the objects to fully transform the energy. You want there to be no trace that your sand painting was there. 
Then close your Viracocha, sending gratitude to your guides, Mother Earth, and all of the energy that was invested into your healing. You can then use your medicine stones for a variety of healing remedies. Keep them in a special space, like on your altar, talk to somewhere safe. You can place these stones on your chakras when you feel your energy is off. You can hold them when you're feeling stressed. Get creative with their medicine because it's endless. So, are you guys excited to try your first sand painting? And please feel free to come back to the comments and share any of the empowering messages that you receive from this healing practice. I can't wait to hear how your experiences are.